Here are three things you need to do to recession-proof your real estate business. I thought this would make the most sense for one of my first videos on our new channel and something that's been on most people's minds recently, both from my clients, my agents, and what I see here on the tube and in general news media is an impending coming recession. We're already in a recession. We are right in maybe the biggest bubble of my career. Two back-to-back -back negative quarters, it, it's not good. Landing ourselves in a recession by the end of this year. We may be headed for a recession. Are we going Going into a recession or are we not? No one knows. Could it happen? 100%. Could it be really, really bad? Absolutely. Could we bypass it? Sure. No one knows. But here's what I do know. Coming from somebody, me, who got into the business the day Lehman Brothers filed for bankruptcy at the end of 2008 and built my entire real estate business in the foundation that was the subprime mortgage collapse, watched a lot of great real estate agents, great business people, collapse and crumble and lose their life savings, lose their incomes, lose their jobs, quit, give up and throw in the towel because things were so hard. It's because they weren't prepared. Now you can never prepare for tragedy. There's always gonna be that opportunity that something smacks, hits you. Oh wow! Things happen, shit happens, but you can prepare. Just like in a car, right? You get into the car, you put on your seatbelt. Do you anticipate getting in a car crash? No. Could it happen? Absolutely. Now, real estate and housing is really unique. While every other business right now can be down about 20%, housing adjacent businesses can be down plus or minus 5% because housing transacts on the way up and on the way down. And if you're in the real estate business, you know this. Step number one to becoming recession resistant is to expand your markets. If you are selling one type of property over the last two years or to one target market, one client base over the past couple of years, and it's been amazing, don't think that what goes up will stay up forever. What goes up must come down and the weather always changes. That's why that guy Nick Kosir on TikTok has such a great TikTok channel because he's a weatherman because he has something to talk about. Cash out, cash in, cash out. How can you start diversifying your asset class that you work with in? Could you also start to get into commercial leasing? What about investment sales? What about multifamily? What about leasing? Something that we're doing here at Sirhan that I did not think I was gonna be doing in 2022 is we are building out and setting up an entire leasing department so that we can start taking on large unit rental buildings, which was never part of my initial plan, but fuck the plan if Jamie Dimon says an economic storm is coming. Guess what? I'm gonna batten down the hatches just like Mark Wahlberg and George Clooney didn't do in that movie, The Perfect Storm, because they both fucking drowned. So you're gonna start thinking about other boats. If this boat goes down and gets caught in the storm, you wanna make sure you have other boats with you. Mark Wahlberg didn't. You're gonna have other boats and there's gonna be other types of properties and other types of asset classes that you can trade within just in case the recession is especially hard on the luxury market. Who do you think interest rates are gonna affect the most? Not the multimillionaire. That guy's just gonna sit on the sidelines. He's not gonna be homeless. It's really going to affect the first time home buyer who now can't afford to even buy a house. Maybe you could be there for them. You could be the upgrade master and you could also be there as the recession resistant agent here to help instead of just being the person in the corner crying. Crying in the corner, huh? Even if a recession hits, even if inflation goes to 10% month over month, people are still gonna buy homes, Nancy. Whether it's World War II or the middle of COVID, people still bought and sold homes because everyone needs a home and you're the one who's going to provide it just at a different price under different terms. So get ready to negotiate. Step two of three is to make the switch to an all digital operation. Do you have in-person staff right now that might not need to be in person? Do you have an office that you go to every day that you're driving to, spending insane gas money on, maybe paying desk fees or rent for? What are you doing that you're paying for that is material? Or start thinking now about how your entire brand and your entire business is an extension of your .com. It's an extension of your website and your social channels. Who are you and what's your and digitally? You are real estate and what digitally? There's so many things you can do as you leverage yourself and really move into a digital existence so that 
if things get really, 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 really bad coming up, you can make an easy switch to cutting expenses because your expenses are not physical. It's OPEX costs. That's what we would call it in business. Step three is to use this time right now to build your audience as wide and far as possible. Case in point, this video. I'm not setting up a second YouTube channel just because I have so much free time. I'm setting up a second YouTube channel because YouTube has changed. The world has changed. Access to content has changed. Audience has changed. You who are watching this video right now on more Ryan Serhant, make sure to like it, make sure to subscribe, hit that button. So how can you build your audience in bigger ways? If you're not on TikTok, you need to be. If you're not on Facebook, you need to be. If you're not doing YouTube shorts, you need to be. What do you know that you can talk about as far as real estate is concerned and listings and your audience? Maybe you know a lot about getting breakfast in your town. Create content around that, it's interesting. Maybe you know a lot about mortgages because you were a mortgage banker in your past life and now you're a real estate agent, you should talk about that. Figure out how you can reach more people to grow your network. Start Facebook groups about interests that you have that are not necessarily real estate. Find those interest groups, go and expand upon them, and then step two, right? Remember, was do it in a digital way. So those are three quick ways that you can start acting right now to recession-proof your business. Now, obviously, there's a lot that we didn't go into, right? Obviously, you want a recession-proof? Save money. Don't spend as much. That huge thing that you were gonna buy, maybe you don't buy it today. That house that you were just gonna move in, maybe you don't do that. That big investment you were gonna, this, that, the other, maybe you don't and you save up to have at least a year in savings. Let's see what happens in the month of September. No one files for bankruptcy from the beach, okay? That's my prediction. If we get through September, then I predict that we will not see a recession that begins this year. But I have a strong feeling that something will happen that will tip markets in Q1 of 2023. That's it, those are my three tips. If this was helpful to you, please let me know in the comments. I'm really, really actively engaged in building this channel with you guys. You're gonna follow me on my CEO journey. This channel is gonna be talking head videos, my thoughts on real estate, on the market, everything, as well as day in the life vlogs, because I do a lot of crazy stuff that are not just walking through properties. You're gonna be with me as I build a business. We've been doing it now for two years, building Sirhant as a real estate company powered by media and grown through education in a way that no one else has ever done in my belief that we are going to replace the bachelor degree for the gig and creator economies. And I want you on that journey with me. So please make sure you subscribe here, give it a like, and let me know in the comments how you feel. If you want more of this, let me know. If you want me to talk about another topic, let me know. And that's it, Ryan Sirhant. Greatest CEO of the greatest real estate company in the history of the known universe, signing out. I love you all.